Oh boy, all this for $25? How's it going pirates and welcome to another video just got back from Walmart just got this bad boy for $25 almost works out to each one of these being about five bucks so that's a great deal so these are obviously all going to be part of future whip um, projects so we have an ambulance we have a fire truck police car helicopter so all of these I'm going to be turning into hover type vehicles as that's my jam in uh, for my city, Edge City, which is within Edge Point Station. So yeah, a lot more to come in regards to this. Stay tuned as we open this up and we take a look at some of the individual parts. So first things first, let's address the elephant in the room. These three guys. There's only one place these three guys belong. Give me, come here. Come here. So here is everything all spread out, a lot of accessories, really decent vehicles for the price point. The unfortunate thing is none of the doors, like both the passenger and the driver doors, none of them open. So you do have to put your figures through uh, the top sunroof. It's not too hard. It is harder getting them out than putting them into the vehicle, but they do fit four inch figures with a lot of leg room. So that's good to see. So here are some of the accessories that come with some of these vehicles. So we have a, looks like a bulletproof vest. So that's for the, uh, the police officer. He has a bulletproof vest, he or she. And then we have, this looks like it's the flashlight. So yeah, it comes with the flashlight for the, the police. It's hollow though. So if I'm taking pictures of this, I'm going to have to make sure that it's only from one side. And then we also have a megaphone. Which is really cool. This one, I believe, is not hollow. Yeah, this one, is, this one isn't hollow. So that's cool. I always wanted a megaphone. We have to repaint that though. The silver just doesn't seem right. And then it looks like this is a yeah, looks like a radar gun. And this one too is hollow. Then we have these pylons to make sure the police can navigate the or sorry, control the traffic and cordon off any areas. And speaking of which, let's take a quick look at the police vehicle. So at first I thought it was going to be an SUV, but it's actually just a small little police car. Kind of cute. Really cool. Uh, it's going to fit well into my police force. I am working on another custom police car that I've showcased before, but I've never, I never actually got around to finishing it. Because I was adding some lights to it. But yeah, this actually looks pretty cool. So obviously what's going to be happening is when I start working on these as uh, uh, whip, whip projects, what I'll be doing is taking the wheels off and replacing those with some kind of propulsion system like thrusters or um, lift propulsion units. So here's the helicopter. Another really cool vehicle. Going to be taking it apart though. Probably going to take the tail end off. Um, add some thrusters to the back end por portion here. Uh, this actually does have electronics that I would like to take out because they're pretty cheesy. So that's that's kind of kind of dumb. Not bad. And I think there's a third one. Yeah, so that one sounds cool. But in general, what I'd like to do is just take all the electronics out of this, uh, replace it with some greeblies, and that's and obviously give the whole thing a paint job and then remove the propellers as well because I highly doubt that these little tiny blades would help lift this helicopter. So yeah, pretty cool. Pretty decent detail on it. And once I paint it and weather it, it should bring out all the details. So now let's go over to the ambulance. 
So the ambulance comes with two accessories. It comes with this pretty cool stretcher. I like the design of this. Very futuristic looking. And the wheels do actually extend out. So when you're putting them, taking them out of the, or putting them into the ambulance, the wheels can go up and down. And then the other accessory is, looks like a, an oxygen tank or something. I could be wrong. Maybe this goes to the fire truck as well. Um, but it looks like an oxygen tank. So you can put that. That, that could be for the, the fireman's um, mask when they're going into the, the you know smoky areas. But yeah, so the back end of this does open up. Again, this is tough to do with just one hand. Oops. Yeah, so the back does open up. So there's not a whole lot of detail in there. Actually, there's no detail in there. So I would have to put some detail into that portion of the vehicle. Uh, the stretcher, as I said, does fit into the back of it, which is at least that's cool. And then you can close that up. Pretty cool play feature by having the the ability to put the stretcher at the back of the ambulance. That's not really how I pronounce it. It's ambulance. But uh, so yeah, so this is this is pretty cool. Comes with three sounds on this as well. Starting up the engine. The start of the siren. And then another siren. So pretty cool. And all the vehicles have the same sounds, same lights. Which is disappointing. I would prefer if the ambulance and the fire truck both had red coverings on the lights, but unfortunately, you know, beggars can be choosers when you're paying twenty-five dollars for a playset. But either way, like I said, it's fairly decent. We, these are very minor gripes. But again, with this, the wheels are going to be coming off. We're going to be placing, replacing it with thrusters, and we're going to have our hover ambulance for the city, our hover police car for the city as well, which is going to be part of my whole police. Uh, system uh, as I have other vehicles as well and here are the accessories that I just knocked over for the fire truck so it comes with these bursts of water so these water jets those fire out which I'll show you in a moment they fire out of the fire trucks water nozzle on the canopy and it's to knock over these little fake fires which is pretty cool we have a, a little barrier here for the rescue team. All of these things are going to need a paint job as it's just they just look like cheap plastic. We have a stop sign and then we have this arrow sign. And then we have, this is something that I thought would be not likely be a part of this, but we have a fan. I'm a huge fan. Seriously, I'm just a fan. So you know how whenever there's a fire and they have to clear the smoke out of the room, uh, this is what they use is these types of fans, which is really cool that they included that and then we also have This chainsaw because you know when you're rescuing people you sometimes have to cut them out of dangerous places and Then we have what's this Then we have the fire extinguisher every Vehicle should have a fire extinguisher, not just the fire department. And then we also have the gas mask. So this is what I was saying that this would actually sit on the front of the figure. And if the figure has a hole in their back, the oxygen tank could attach to the back of that. And here is the fire truck. So it's pretty cool. It has some has a door on the side here. This is where you can put your accessories. So this pops open. It only has it on one side, so you can put your accessories in there, which is really cool. Has a working ladder. Now this may be tough to do with just one hand. So the ladder does extend out. Fairly, fairly long. That's what she said. And here's the water nozzle that I mentioned before. This actually pops up. And you could fire those little water cannons or the burst of water. So let me just... Oops. So let me show you how the, the little thruster things work. 
So you just grab one of these little water water jets. And then you just pop it into the nozzle. If it wants to go in. There you go. And then you just press the big old red button. And it fires out the water. So yeah, this does move up. As you saw, the canopy does move. So you can move that independent from the ladder itself. Um, it goes up and down. The water nozzle sits flush against the canopy. But yeah, overall, a really cool vehicle. All really great vehicles for the price that I paid. So again, $25 for the entire playset. It actually had the three figures that you saw what I did with those because they have no use in my collection. And all of these are going to be part of my WIP projects. So the wheels are going to be coming off, getting thrusters added to them. Uh, I do have a couple that I that I got from Rad Toys Galaxy, so I'll add some of those on some of these vehicles, and then we we may likely do other trades in the future. At which point, maybe he can print me off some more uh, engines and thrusters and stuff like that, some, like slightly smaller ones for the vehicles. Hint, hint. But wait, there's more. And here's the height comparison, so you can actually see what a Joy Toy female figure looks like beside the police car. So there's still some pretty good height clearance. So the scaling is actually pretty good. The helicopter, same thing. Pretty decent scaling. Should be able to fit two figures in there, two like smaller like female figures inside there or just one bigger figure. Ambulance, same thing. Scales well. A Little bit small, but not too small. And then there's the fire truck. The scaling again, really good. So grab your E11 blaster and blast that like button like it was a rebel scum. <laughs> Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Comment and share. And I'll catch you guys next time. Take care, pirates.